I've regularly worked out for 15 years. So I'm constantly changing up my routine and finding new things to do that push myself, but that are also within my physical limitations. Um, I can't run and on a continuous basis because I have plantar fasciitis. So changing it up and really challenging myself is something that's become very important to me, especially as I get older and my metabolism slows down. So with QSA, the fact that the workouts are so varied, it's really, really helped me to become more familiar with my body. And I know now what to eat for me. You know, what works for, for one person may not be the diet plan that I need to be on. I now know what I'm sensitive to, what I can and can't eat, and where I need to stay as far as my calorie range, my carbs, and my protein ratios, and stuff like that. So it's, it's just, I think body knowledge in general um, has really, really increased since coming to QSA a year ago. Working out is an absolute priority to me. My friends actually make fun of me because I'll put that ahead of sleep. Um, being with them, work at times. So for me, it's very, very important to make time for, for exercise. I can get caught up with working out too much and spending two hours in the gym and it becomes unproductive time. I absolutely prefer to work out in the morning. If I don't get it done in the morning, my whole day is thrown off. I'm more tired, I'm sluggish, and I normally won't fit in a workout in the afternoon. But I've never once not look forward to coming to QSA. So even if I do have to schedule a workout at four, I'll make sure to fit it in. And what's so great is that you're getting an awesome workout in an hour. And I know I'm, I can be in and out in an hour. And it's, you know, you, you, you kind of, um, you don't have to think about it as much. It's not walking in the gym and going, what am I gonna do today? It's all set up for you. You just walk in, an hour later you're gonna walk out and you know you got a, you got a great workout. So the timing hasn't been a problem as far as priorita prioritizing it, for me, but it is really, really nice that there's that flexibility at QSA too, that I can come really early in the morning, I can come in the evening whenever I might need to. I make sure to do it first thing in the morning. Um, and if I, you know, if there's times that I have to work out at 4 or 5 a.m., and I might have to do that at home, but I make sure to do it in the morning. My day gets way too crazy and, you know, I'm, I'm busy in the evenings or something comes up, but if I get it done in the morning, Again, I have a more productive day. I'm, 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 I'm better with my eating habits, um, and I just I know it's done, and it's it's one thing checked off the, the list. It's helped tremendously. Um, it's it's always been or it's become increasingly apparent to me that I'm different than my friends or I'm different than my family. There are certain things that I just I have to stay away from. I can tell immediately. I'm very sensitive to any starchy carbohydrate, um, I can nearly tell immediately that, that I look different. I, I definitely kind of fill out. I don't look as lean if I eat carbohydrates. And so just the nutrition component in general, again, going back to that body knowledge and recognizing what I can and can't do for, for me, for Morgan. Um, and the nutrition components helped tremendously. Um, I've dropped 6% body fat since I've been here in just under a year. Um, and that's for somebody who's worked out for 15 years. Being able to drop 6% body fat is huge because I do consider myself to be a person who's in shape and pretty fit. So to make those strides in a relatively short period of time is due to QSA and then the nutrition. I love the trainers. My favorite thing about QSA is the people in general. It's, it's coming in here and feeling like you're working out with your group of friends that you work out with you know, in your, in your actual group and on your time slot and stuff, but it's the, it's the trainers knowing you, getting to know what's going to kind of push you, what workouts you're really going to like, um, and, and being able to both support and challenge you at the same time, um, and holding you accountable. You know, I mean, obviously if you schedule, you, you need to be here. They know that you're not going to be here. It's not a class of 30 or 35 people at the gym. It's not walking in and out of the gym and nobody really knows that you're there. They know, so you're held accountable, and then you're also being challenged and, like I said, supported at the same time. Do it. Do it. Don't, don't hesitate. I am QSA's biggest fan. I talk about it incessantly. My friends all laugh. Um, my family's sick of hearing about it, I'm sure. But it's the best decision I ever made to come to QSA, try it out, get involved. And, again, for somebody who's used to working out, it's, it's given me tremendous knowledge and, and a lot of accomplishment in a short period of time. 
and it won't stop. That's the thing is that QSA can continue to um, motivate me and challenge me for you know, an in infinite amount of time, I suppose. You know, there's always something more that I can be doing. And I know that the trainers are going to continue to grow with me and, and kind of propel me forward. So if you're even thinking about joining QSA, I would say absolutely do it. It's worth it.